everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. When I asked you guys what videos you wanted to see more of from me in the future, a lot of you guys said painting and watercolor videos, which I was honestly a little surprised by because I'm not the most technically advanced watercolor painter or painter in general, but I figured this is the year that I want to expand my creative and artistic knowledge and try some new things. So experimenting with watercolor, new mediums, different styles. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Please do not judge me on my watercolor. I'm still learning. I still very much consider myself a beginner, maybe like intermediate. I mean, obviously I know the basics of watercolor, but I'm definitely not the most advanced. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me experiment and stumble my way through the wonderful world that is watercolor. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future or what mediums or styles you want to see me experiment with. I'm definitely open to anything, but without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so I decided to paint some flowers because I figured as a semi-beginner that these would be the easiest to start off with, especially because if they're loose and they're not exactly perfect, it kind of adds to the look. By the way, I'm a little bit sick, which is why my voice might sound a bit off, but anyways, I'm going to power through it because we have some watercolor painting to do. So one thing that I do know about watercolors is that it's best to do layers. So start off with light washes of color and then you can build up the intensity if you really want to because there's no way of going lighter, but you can always go darker. So I'm using really watered down paints and I'm starting off with the actual flowers. So the petals, I did some reds, oranges, purples, and I'm using various size brushes to get different sizes of petals. For the leaves, these are actually the easiest and honestly the most fun to do because you can kind of just do single strokes and just press down on the brush and kind of release the brush and it makes some really nice leaves. And when I was creating this design, I didn't really have an exact plan in mind. As you can see, there was no pencil marks or sketches underneath. I just went straight into it with the watercolor. With any other design, like something that's more intricate or detailed, I would have done a sketch. But with the flowers, since again, I was kind of going for the loose look anyways, I decided I didn't need to plan anything and I would just go with my instincts. And if there was a blank space, I would try to fill in with what I thought was best at the time. Now this did kind of bite me in the butt later on where I can't really undo something, but you know what? This was where the artistic journey took me and I just had to follow it. In terms of the watercolors that I'm using, I'm using the Sakura Koi watercolors. I love this little palette. It's really portable and there's a nice variety of colors, especially within each individual shade. I find that certain basic watercolor palettes will just have one red or one green or one blue and this one has a nice variety so you are able to get a wide spectrum of colors. Now I didn't want this to just be plain flowers, so as you can see I'm adding some little decorative dots around it. I feel like this adds more of a design element to the painting and makes it look like a design rather than a plain illustration. So at this point, I was happy with the flower arrangement that I created. I had the big base flowers, so now it was time to add in more detail. So I went in with darker leaves, I went in with a smaller brush and added darker details to the flowers as well, just to add some more punch to the flowers. When I was doing this, I was very conscious not to add too many details or not to darken things or play around with things too much, just because the nature of watercolor, at least what I like in watercolor, is that loose illustrative style kind of like it's a bit unfinished i feel like that adds character instead of just a perfectly airbrushed realistic look to watercolor there's certainly a place for that but i prefer the more sketchy loose illustrative look so uh, i did want to make sure that you could see some of the lighter washes of color underneath the darker details so i tried not to play around with it too much but you know me, I'm a perfectionist and it's hard for me to know when to put the paintbrush down and just to stop. I'm sure there are a couple of you out there who experience a similar issue. 
I once heard a quote that went something like, art is never finished, only abandoned. And that's certainly true for me because if I look at some of my past finished drawings in quotations, I will definitely be able to find something that I want to change or tweak. Um, but I just decided to abandon it and put the pencil down because sometimes you just have to do that in order to give yourself closure as an artist. Anyways, wrapping things up, uh, as you can see, I'm just continuing adding those finishing details with a smaller brush and adding more vibrancy to the colors. I definitely think that this experimental venture into watercolors, especially as a somewhat beginner, didn't go as disastrous as I thought. Here is the final finished piece. I will leave a picture of it in the description box below in case you want to use it as a background or whatnot. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me experiment with this. Alright everyone, I made it, we're here, and I think this turned out pretty well considering my lack of watercolor experience and knowledge, and definitely still gonna have to play around with it a bit more, but let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and if you have any suggestions or tips for me. I'm open to learning from you guys because I know that there are definitely people out there watching this who are shaking their head, disapproving of my watercolor techniques, or just know a lot more about watercolor and painting in general than I do, so leave them all in the comments below and hopefully we can make this a learning experience for everyone. Anyway, if you're craving some more doodle and art inspiration, be sure to follow me over on my Instagram at amandaragedoodles. You can also hit that little bell button down below so you will never miss a new video from my channel. I'm gonna sign off now, keep doodling, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone!